Prostate cancer is the third most frequent cancer among Singapore males. But about 4 in 10 who have tested positive in the prostate specific antigen test or PSA later find out it's a false alarm. The PSA um, test for prostate cancer is actually a very good uh, cancer marker, but it has a high false positive rate, which means a lot of men who don't actually have prostate cancer may come out as having uh, an abnormal reading. And that leads to more tests and sometimes even invasive procedures done on them. But all that may now change with the new framework published by the Academy of Medicine dividing screening tests into three categories. The first is suitable for population level screening, which means they are recommended for the general adult population. These include tests for obesity, hypertension, cholesterol, diabetes and colorectal cancer, as well as cervical and breast cancers for women. For the second category, doctors would need to evaluate whether there's a need for the test, such as prostate cancer. Tests in the third category are not suitable for screening purposes, but may be used for monitoring patients who are on treatment. In the past, we will just depend on clinical judgment and whatever we read in the literature. So it is not like it's, there's nothing in the past, but really we're just formalizing this into a document for Singapore. The committee hopes the categories would prevent screening tests from being used indiscriminately and reduce wastage. I hope the guidelines will help influence um, parties who produce these packages to look into packages that are more specific for the people who are using uh, the packages rather than simply bundling all sorts of tests without good uh, evidence uh, into a, say, an executive health uh, package. Healthcare group Parkway told Channel News Asia it welcomes the new framework, adding it regularly reviews screening packages. Singhealth Polyclinics says its doctors will continue the practice of reviewing patients' condition and will advise relevant screening tests according to age and risk factors.